Let's talk about the 20 ton shop press from Harbor Freight. Now the item number on this is 60603. It was on sale and I've actually been eyeballing this press for quite a while because quite frankly, I want to do a few modifications and also use it as a finger press. Now there's a company out there that makes a finger press insert that you just drop in this unit and you pretty much have a, a pretty easy way to bend metal. That's what brakes are for. And I find myself in a lot of situations where I would like to have nice, sharp, crisp 90 degrees on certain materials. And I end up putting them in a vise and beating them over. And that works fine but i think this will do a much better job now harbor freight has come a long way as far as these bottle jacks go and they're actually relatively decent the only problem is you know it takes a lot of pumps to move it just a little bit now we're going to replace that jack with the harbor freight 20 ton air jack these are pretty cool they've been around a while and they actually work really well but they basically have a you know a control here and when you press the button they jack themselves up. So pretty handy. It'll make the tool a whole lot more useful to have this in place instead of using a handle where you have to pump it a thousand times. And this also has a backup handle as well. So if for some reason you didn't have any air or uh, your air compressor cord or whatever, you can still use it like a normal jack with it with the handles that come with it. But we intend to use it as an air jack. Now, as usual, I'm not going to bore you with the details and assemble this on video. I feel if you've gotten this far and you're buying one of these for your shop, you probably know how to assemble things. So we'll put it together and we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. From box to finish, I think it takes roughly about a half an hour here to put it together. It's really not a big deal. Relatively simple and self-explanatory. The construction seems to be pretty fair. Some of the wells, as you can see down in there, are a little boogery. But for the most part, it seems to be pretty decently constructed. I think it's going to hold up well, and it should work great in my shop. Now, as with any press, the bottom deck is adjustable. Basically, it sits on these pins. They're just kind of floating in there. And these are handles, so you can lift it up, pull the pins, raise and lower the deck as needed. So if you needed more space up here, you could get that. It does come with these inch plates, which seem to be okay. They look like a look kind of like a torch cutter or a plasma cut, and the finish is just kind of a, a very fast paint job, but that's fine. For a, a backyard mechanic, not a big deal. And you can see it's got the typical different patterns cut in each corner. So if you need something cut a little different and you're trying to press a part out, just rotate them and use as needed. So all of that is fine. Out of the box, this press should do exactly as the designed however you know me i can't leave anything well enough alone and my biggest gripe is simply how bottle jacks work now they come with this big handle that you sit into the jack and you pump away and as you can see the movement for every pump is very small believe it or not it's moving and eventually we will close this gap up which will take a long time that's why i've decided to use an air jack now looking at the bottle jack side by side, there's really not a whole lot of difference other than this one is a lot deeper. The foot is just a little bit different on this one, maybe a hint wider, and it's about an inch taller than the jack over here. But we should still be able to use the same mounting plate, we just might have to drill a few holes. The original bottle jack was just bolted to this plate. You can see a couple of holes here that are threaded and you just kind of bolted it down and set here. It's pretty much just kind of resting on here for the most part. The bolts just keep it from sliding around. And at the top of the press, you can see there's a ring here that the foot sits in. That's what holds it all together. The new bottle jack is a little bit bigger than this base, but I think we can still work with it. We'll probably have to drill a few new holes and it should be a relatively easy modification. Now with the new jack sitting in place, we're just going to drill a hole through the jack and through the plate and put a bolt right here. I originally was going to do one here, but this is awful close to the old hole. And uh, I just don't think I can, I can drill that without getting into the old hole and making everything cattywampus. So here's where we're going to put the first bolt back in this corner here. And we are going to put a second bolt back in the corner back here. So that bolt will go right there. As far as the top, as long as this fits into this upside down cup here, and it will, I've already measured it. Uh, we should just have to take this top piece off, pull the springs off, and it should be pretty close to being done. So with it bolted in in the two places, it's pretty much ready to go. And that's a pretty decent, fast modification. It sure does make it using these presses a whole lot easier.
Now that's a flat can. Now when I add the finger brake to this press, there's another modification I'm going to do. I think you're going to like that, so like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. You might find something you yourself might want to build.